welcome to the Baldi's Basics Birthday Bash. Hey guys, it's Come on John. In and have a blast. May I speak now? Is that okay? Hey guys, it's John, and today we're gonna be playing Baldi's Basics One Year Birthday Bash, in addition to some Baldi's fan games. I actually have a lot to say about Baldi's Basics, and what better time than now on the one year anniversary? So, this is a new version of the game that contains some birthday themed additions. I'm not really sure what else is new, but we're gonna check it out, and I'll talk about Baldi's while I play it. Uh, I actually have a lot to say. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my party. Wow, thanks. I can't believe I got invited. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this. So, Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning is a game jam game, which a lot of people I think that criticize this game may not understand what a game jam is, so I'll be happy to explain exactly what it is. Big old boots. That's what it does? What did it do? It just passes some boots in front of me? Anyway, a game jam is a competition in which developers are challenged. Wow. Okay, so it's a joke item. Developers are challenged to create a fully functioning game within the Game Jam's theme within a very limited amount of time. Usually uh, 24 hours to a week, but sometimes as long as a month. This particular game was fully developed within two weeks. And as you can see, all the assets from what I can tell are original, so that means it was created from scratch, from the ground up, in two weeks. And that's not what's most impressive about it. To me, what's most impressive about Baldi's Basics is that it was a very original idea. And the idea may be lost on some of you if you aren't familiar with what it's attempting to satirize and what it's attempting to subvert. So for someone like me who played a lot of 90s edutainment games, this is like a perfect subversion of games like the Jumpstart series or more specifically, Sonic Schoolhouse, which is what the visual concept is based on. There we go. So we got the principal's keys and a yellow door lock. I hope the principal's not out here. No entering school. No, penalty. come on! Only in the hall. 15 seconds. Detention for you. <laughs> Your parents will hear about this one. All right, thanks, thanks. So, uh, okay, I'm staying in here for a second. Where is he? All right, I'll go this way. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying about Baldi's. Uh, this is basically showcasing a completely innocent, colorful environment. Very well done in that regard. And it's subverting it by planting within the environment something, a single sinister entity. And that is a teacher that becomes irrationally angry that you're not learning fast enough, or that you get questions wrong. I am coming ready or no, here I come. Oh my gosh, you again. Oh my god, I got more big old boots! No. Boy. <laughs> now, I know that, and I mean, I, I know that this concept was lost on a lot of people because I've read the comments. And people have bashed this game's graphics, saying that, oh, they're bad. They're bad, but they're bad on purpose. It's part of the package deal. Wow. Look at this birthday cake. <laughs> Somebody sure thinks a lot of themselves, eh, Baldi? I'm just gonna go ahead and use the big old boots, I guess. Let's see what's this right here? Energy flavored zesty bar? I'll take it. But I think it's a very smart concept. I mean, people fawn over Doki Doki Literature Club. But I think that this game did a much better job of subverting the genre. Don't sweep me up, please. Oh my god! What the hell?! What's going on?! They're all right there! Oh, <laughs> that was really funny. 
So anyway, um, considering all of that, the game's originality and concept, and the fact that it was a Game Jam game, I think those two things in particular combined together make this a pretty special experience. Again, considering what it is. So I just want to say all that in defense of Baldi's Basics. I think that a lot of people just didn't get this part of the concept. And to me, that's evidenced by some of the fan games that I've seen, including Advanced Education with Victor Straboski. A lot of the Baldi's fan games have seemingly taken a more heavy-handed horror approach to things, which I think... No... Really misses the point. But I'll talk about that later when I play some of them. Let's see... We're at five notebooks. I heard there was a new ending to this game, but I don't know if we're gonna get it. I mostly just wanted to check it out and talk Let about it. No! One, we're dead. Two. That was not fair. <laughs> Okay, well, we can see it, it's... Welcome to the Baldi's Basics Birthday Bash! Come on in and have a blast! Thanks! So, I've said my piece on Baldi's Basics. Uh, we checked out the Birthday Bash. So there's some birthday-themed additions. I understand that there's a new ending, but I don't really feel like going through the whole rigmarole of trying to beat the thing again. So we're gonna move on to some of the fan games. All right, this first game is called Baltimore's High School, and this is actually available for $5 on Itch.io. We're gonna go ahead and check it out. Enter. I'm so excited to play Baldi's Basics again. <gasps> Welcome to Baltimore's High School. High school, of course, is all one word. Let's see, school rules, no running, no loud noises, no vending machines at night. Must respect school mascot, must complete seven tests. Okay, I understand. All right, so <laughs> there's the coin. <laughs> United States of Baldy. Wait, is that him? Oh my God. What, <laughs> what is going on here? So as you can see, ah! <laughs> We have a very angry Slender Man right here. Slapping his ruler. Coming after us. I'm good with that though. Let's run away from him. Ooh, did you hear that super evil voice? What bear hug? Okay. So we had a bear hug, huh? What the hell? Was it the principal? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. So I... No, are you freaking kidding me? So I've never played this game before, but I could tell, just from the thumbnails from when my friends played it, that it was an ultra heavy-handed horror edition of Baldi's. And the thing that bothers me about that is it completely misses the point of the original. It basically takes the core gameplay and it drops you into this horrific atmosphere. But the thing that was special about the original to me was the subversion and that, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't about dropping you into a horrific environment. Uh, okay. It was about tossing you into a place that seemingly was innocent. And then turning everything on its head. Is Baldi not coming in here? Oh, sorry. Baltimore. He just walked right past. I'm good with that, I guess. So, what this ends up being is just kind of a slender eight pages situation. Again. Except it takes place in a school and you have to solve math problems. But that's not what made the original game so unique. Okay, there's no notebook in here. Weird. Am I actually gonna try to beat this? No, probably not. What's crazy about this game too is that Baltimore... ...has a worse AI... 
than the original Game Jam version. I was in a classroom earlier and he just walked right past. Okay, we gotta get away from this guy. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. He's got me. I'm gonna get smacked! <laughs> Alright. So that was Baltimore's high school. And let me get this out of the way too. It's now worth five dollars. Wow, that is some exploitive shit right there. Alright, next game. This next game is Baldi's Unreal Basics in Education and Learning. Uh, or as the program is titled in the install folder, Baldi Remastered. So let's go ahead and check it out. It's organized into chapters. There's four of them. And then there's an arcade mode with Summer Camp. And you can't see it because I'm covering it up, but I'll move out of the way for you. Baldi's in the corner! Eh, that's me! So let's go ahead and check out chapter one. Collect your friend's seven notebooks as you've lost a dare. What you and your friends don't know is that things will go terribly wrong. Let's do it. Okay. Original by Mistman12 on Twitter. Remake made in UE4. This isn't a remake, but all right. And that's part of the point I wanted to make here by playing these. Okay. So we've lost a bet. So we're going into the school at night, or...? Here we are. Oh, it's my buddy Cory X Kenshin. Nice, man. I'm sorry, but what? Oh my god! They used the <laughs> assets from the <laughs> original game. All right, here we go. Let's solve our first math problems. Uh, wait. Do you not? You don't actually solve any math problems. Cause, cause you can't. Look at this. So it's completely removed every single bit. Oh no, not this guy. Ugh. It's completely removed every single bit of the 90s edutainment satire from the original. Hmm, such a shame. Let's play. You're very scary. No running in the hall. Ah, oh, please take me away. 15 seconds. Detention for you. When will you so these are your parents? They will give you more than a grounding if you're caught in detention three times? Oh my god. Dude. Let's try again, because we didn't we didn't really get to experience that one, unfortunately. Wait, can I just skip to another chapter? Explore the school's basement and try to escape Baldy. It's time to take control. You can just skip to another chapter? All right, let's play this one and see, <laughs> see how different it is. So I guess after you get all seven notebooks, you get kidnapped, tied up, and hung from the ceiling? Landed straight on your head, broke your neck. Awesome. I do have one positive thing to say about this. It is free, so it doesn't cost money like Baltimore's high school does. But once again, just the heavy-handed horror approach. The basement must have flooded from all the rain. Try to find a way out of here before Baldi catches you. There are five generators you must activate before you can leave. <laughs> Alright. 
So, I mean, it's just taking the slender eight pages approach to everything. Alright, I hear him coming. Is this the generator? Oh my gosh, you just click on it. I feel like having generators in the middle of a bunch of water is a bad idea. <laughs> but what do I know? Nothing, right? Okay, let's keep going. I don't even know where he is. Is he coming after me? Is he down this hall? I missed him. I missed him. I'm Mist Man. <laughs> uh, Mist Man is the developer of the original game. Except it's spelled M Y S T. Like the classic puzzle game. Come on. Man, why is Baldi so desperate to bop my ass with the ruler, you know? I didn't even get to answer any math questions this time. Alright, here's the last generator. Hey, he caught me. Alright, well, I think I've seen enough of Baldi's Unreal Basics. Try again? No. Next game. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is another Baldi's fan game called Baldina's. Female Baldi, in case that wasn't clear. Baldina's Basis in education and learning. Not Baldina's basics. That would make too much sense. Let's go ahead and start. <laughs> I gotta say, this at least has some charm to it. And look, it's like, it's like the original style. I guess I'm way behind on this game because it's decorated in a bunch of Merry Christmas bullshit. Welcome back to school. I'm Baldina, your literature teacher. Hurry up to the classroom. <laughs> okay. Oh no. There's Elon Musk, Baldi, of course, the principal, Baldina, PewDiePie, Biju Mike, some other people. Alright, let's <laughs> This this is hurting my eyes. Okay. I study your favorite subject. Lead printer. As you remember, after a break, you should recite the poem you learned by heart at home. What? Wait, what am I doing? What? What am I clicking on? Okay, I'm gonna leave, Baldina. So these are all literature questions, so they're not... Who is the Grinch over there? Oh, man. The room is under my protection. Wait, what? Did she say I was skipping class? That she was gonna find me? What? Wait, we just have to pick these up? Do we have to pick these up? Oh, you just click on them. Oh, so you don't have to actually solve any problems. So she's just, she's just mad that you're skipping class. And that's it. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, hang on. Minus one. Uh, minus one. <laughs> You're not a kid. You're not a kid. What? Where? There's the sweep, sweep, sweep guy. <laughs> She's funny. I like this game. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> it... It's not good, but it's funny, at least. Maybe it's supposed to be funny. I'm out of patience. Oh, the control is really bad, though. Okay, like, getting stuck in between the desks call like this? Why well, are you telling me to call my parents, or are you threatening to call my parents? Oh my gosh, how do you even get out of here? Write an explanation 
Oh, go, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. All right, next game. Okay, this is a game called Baldy Nightmare. Let's just start it. It's like Nightmare, Baldy. Playtime, Bully, coming soon. Principal, coming soon. I doubt that. All right, what, it, what am I looking at right now? ¿Qué demonios? ¿Dónde estoy? Está todo oscuro. No veo nada. Espera. Que hay una linterna. <laughs> ¿Qué ha sido ese ruido? What? What? No, it's a maze game. Oh, it doesn't have cursor lock. Cursor lock is one line of code. As I've always said. I'm selling it on a t-shirt, by the way, so if you care about it as much as I do, you can buy a t-shirt. Merch, <laughs> merch store is linked in the description. There's no ceiling on this place. Oh my god, I've, what? I've never seen a game miss the point harder than this. Wow. Oh my god, what am I doing? I mean, I'm guessing that I had to collect notebooks. The entire map just like phases in and out constantly. Is it like a draw distance problem or? What causes this? It's like it disappears. It's gotta be a light box issue, right? I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. I don't. It's gotta be. Oh my God. What the? Just end it. Just end it. Oh my God. Dare? You dare use the Resident Evil 4 you died sound? Oh my god, this is just utter crap. Oh. All right. Let's just move on from this. Next game. What? So, if you were wondering, <laughs> That's me. No. If you were wondering, hey John, is there a Baldi's Basics and FNAF crossover out there? I introduce you to Baldi's Basics and Nightmares, which, as it states right here, unequivocally inspired by Baldi and FNAF. <laughs> That model is pretty cool though. Let's uh, let's go ahead and start. Oh. <laughs> survive 300 seconds, five minutes, to unlock the secret ending. You only have to survive five minutes? Welcome to Nightmare Baldi's Dimension. Press A to look at left hall, D to look at right hall, S to go back to middle. Wait, what does it say? Okay, left. Okay, back to middle one viewing halls. Okay. Oh my god, it makes the dog barking because sound. For you. Why? On what basis? Hide the tips. Let play a sound. Huh? Why why are you here? Ah! What happened? Hang on. I'm rolling over in my grave looking at these games, John. 
I know, Baldi. I know. Let's go ahead and check out how to play. How do you play? All right. <laughs> Hang on. Wall of text incoming. Nightmare Baldi. Baldi will appear either on the left, right, or middle. If he appears in the middle, play a sound. If he appears on the right, press L. If he appears on the left, quickly go back. 2D Nightmare Principle. If his meter depletes completely, you'll be forced into detention. But nothing happened! Make sure to keep the meter up by hovering your mouse over it. Okay. Nightmare First Prize. Appearing at random, he will require you to use the safety scissors on him. Make sure to press E when he appears and drag the scissors to him. 2D Nightmare Playtime. Also appearing at random, Nightmare Playtime will block your view and stop you from moving. Make sure to press Q and drag the safety scissors to her. There's a lot of mechanics here. Nightmare Sweep can get rid of some characters if he happens to appear around the same time as them. However, this is unlikely to happen, and it may actually distract you. Okay, so the sweep doesn't do anything. Wait, control to use your flashlight. Wait. Spacebar to jump, playtime's rope. Okay, so we've got A, D, and S to move. We've got E, Q, control, L, and we gotta hover our mouse over the thing. There's also the bully. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I'll give it another shot. Okay. Press enter on your keyboard to go to the game quickly. Well, that didn't, didn't seem to make a difference. Okay, all right, here we go. So I press L. Huh? That's annoying. What's that meter? Do I have to- okay. I have to just put my mouse over it. So I'll just keep it there. There's no reason to move the mouse. Wait, what I press E? I thought I pressed E! Oh my god. Oh! I can't play- I can't play this. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh! All right, guys. I think I've proven my point. <laughs> See, all you haters out there. The original doesn't seem so bad now, does it? All right, well, this was a fun video to make. It reminds me a lot of my video that I made. Uh, I think it was uh, Granny Except It's Terrible, where I played a bunch of Granny fan games. That, again, totally missed the point of the original. But uh, yeah, this was a fun one. Hope you enjoyed in some sort of sadistic way. I know how you guys are. Let me know what you thought about these games in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Posted tomorrow. Think critically.